Oh, for sale now, Vehicle Max. We have a beautiful 2010 Nissan Armada Platinum, two-wheel drive, blue on the outside with um, neutral leather interior. It's like a gray tank combination. It's completely loaded up with factory navigation, factory backup camera, factory power moonroof, factory DVD. You got the factory 20-inch chrome wheels, power tailgate, and a bunch of other options that I'll get into in just a minute. As a clean title and a clean car, Fax you can view right now for free on our website, vehiclemax.net. Matching new tires, factory running boards, mud guards, roof rack with crossbars. We got the car running right now because I wanted you to see the DVD playing and also a few of the other things before I got to go. And this vehicle is equipped with the uh, factory. Um, Front and rear parking sensors, heavy duty tow and package. Again, it's the uh, Platinum Edition. And it's also flex fuel capable, meaning you can put that E85 flex fuel, which costs about 30 cents per gallon. We are located at 3200 Northwest 37th Street, Miami, Florida. 33142 is our zip code. We are open Monday to Friday from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m., Saturdays 9 to 5, and we're always closed on Sundays. We have been in the car business since 1992 and have sold over 30,000 cars. We are an accredited member of the Better Business Bureau with an A-plus rating. You can check that out for yourself at our website. Right on the home page is a clickable link to the Better Business Bureau site, which will take you right to our rating. If you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. I can be reached at 305-218-5462. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the uh, DVD player, which is the main reason we got the car running. That's your factory DVD player up there. Factory power moonroof, which is tinted, but it also has the hard cover to block out the sun completely. Bucket seats in the front and bucket seats in the center with a center console as well. And a full bench in the rear, so this is a total of seven passengers. Okay? Wood trimming, chrome door handles. This is what I was referring to. On the driver's door and the passenger front door, there's a little switch right here which senses that the key is nearby. So when you approach the vehicle, you don't have to... Um, Take the key out of your pocket, all you got to do is uh, tap in that little button and the door will open. Tap it once for the driver door and quickly thereafter for all three other doors. The door panels are light gray with dark gray up in the top, wood trimming. Of course we got uh, power windows, power door locks, screws control, tilt wheel. We even got our uh, power folding mirrors with the turn signal. The two front windows are automatic, meaning one touch. You don't have to hold the switch for the window to go down. There's a navigation screen. And in just a minute, I'll go ahead and I'll show you the backup camera, curtain side airbags, as well as, if you can see it here, seat side airbags. Again, it's a platinum edition, which is engraved right on the seats. Uh, we got on the, on the mirrors, we got turn signals on both sides, of course, and it's also a heated mirror. Okay. It is also a power folding mirror. Let's go ahead and fold out the other side. All right. Okay, um, we get memory seats for up to two drivers. Dual power seat and power recliner. Before I sit down, let me pan over the seating area so you can see it's in great shape without any cuts or tears or burn holes. Matter of fact, uh, there's, there's no burn holes anywhere in the seats. Door panels, headliner, or carpeting, and there's no odor of smoke, so it looks like the previous owner was a non-smoker. <coughs> Okay, so there's our navigation screen, and uh, as I was saying before, the moonroof is uh, glass. It is tinted, but also has this hard cover that blocks out the sun completely. Let's go ahead and open it up. We'll leave it open for the video so we can get a little better lighting. It's a one-touch moonroof, as you can see. You don't have to hold the switch. We've got uh, heated seats with two different levels of comfort, low and high. Okay, got the towing hall mode. And that's so you would engage that when you're towing a boat or a trailer so the transmission shifts a little differently to adjust for the extra cargo load. Over on this side, another the heated switch for the driver's side and a little hard to do here. Let me put the car out of gear so I can reach here. This is your heated steering wheel. So not only are the seat heated but also the steering wheel. Alright. Uh, we got uh, 68,406 miles. The car is running right now. Keep an eye on the tachometer on the left hand side. I'm going to rev the engine. Should we get the emergency brake on? Go ahead and take that off. Okay. 
and uh, I'm gonna run the engine. It's a 5.6 liter V8. And the reason I'm doing that is so you can see that the car is running and idling perfectly, and that there are no check engine light on, no airbag lights, no service engine zoom, no maintenance zoom, nothing like that. Everything is working to perfection. Okay, um, let's go ahead and put on the AC. It's nice and hot today. And uh, we've got this vehicle's equipped with a top of the line stereo, which is the, uh, let me see if I can get the photos, the Grace Note, which has the uh, Bose stereo sound system. Also, um, uh, again, as I was saying, you put the vehicle in reverse, and you get the uh, backup camera with the guiding lights, and lines, I should say, not lights. Okay, um, let's go have a listen to the stereo. We've also got dual climate control. What I mean by that is the following. We can have the driver's side here at 60 and the passenger side here at 68. Okay, we've also got the hard flash driver here and the center console here. Uh, over here is your auxiliary port so you can put in your iPod and uh, listen to your iPod music right in your stereo sound system. Cigarette light adapter, one on each side so you can power up your uh, either cigarette lighter or your um, uh, your charger. This is the uh, DVD uh, input and also has a video input so if you can power it you can actually watch it on the little screen. Cup holders here in the center and as you can see here this is removable so you can take it out to get it cleaned. Also this actually uh, has a little arm swing so you can put like a large bottle of water there or one of those super big gulps and stuff like that fits in there. Um, okay. Uh, we got an auto dimming rear view mirror and what that means is if somebody puts a high beams on you it darkens the mirror so it doesn't bother your vision we also got the uh, three little houses there that's what we call the uh, universal garage door opener or a home link and that way you can program up to three garage doors or gates up in the top here is our, um, our rear AC control you can control the fan speed the flow and also the temperature so in a sense you get really triple climate control this is the microphone for the Bluetooth. This vehicle does have Bluetooth. Let me get a little further so you can see it better. We can control the volume for the stereo here. And here you can see your preset stations. So the cruise control is on the right hand side. Map lights up here, one on either side. Pocket for sunglasses. Uh, I'll reach over here. Vanity mirrors with lighting. <coughs> okay, uh, what else can I tell you? I think we might be ready to move on to the back. <clears throat> Again, if I miss something you have any questions, feel free to call me. My name is George. You can reach me at 305-218-5462. That's your main glove box over there. Remember, we got the wood trimming on all four door panels, also on the front here, and around the AC vent on this side here. We've got, um, I think we're ready to move on to the back. Uh, okay, remember the key is still in my pocket, so I've never really taken the key out of my pocket. The uh, how you do it is uh, when you first start it, you got to step in the brake and then turn the, the knob to the right. Now that we're going to turn it off, we turn the knob to the left. Okay? When you're ready to exit the vehicle, all you've got to do is uh, you can reach into, the into your pocket and press the lock button, or you can just come over here and press once. And now all four doors are closed, and the tailgate as well. To reopen, one, one for the driver door, and quickly thereafter for all three other doors. So one, Two, and now all four doors are open again. <coughs> okay, the rear door um, panels are the same as in the front, light gray with a darker gray on top with a wood trimming. This vehicle is equipped with a child lock protection. How it works is the following. Push this lever here and what that does is that disables this inside door handle. That's in case you got small kids and you don't want them to open a door from the inside. Once you engage that, the only handle that's going to work is the outer handle. Okay, to gain access to the rear, there's a little handle here on both sides. You pull it up. This will fall down forward and slide forward to give you access to the rear. We got um, the rear row passengers can control their AC as well. Same way as in the front, they can control the fan speed, the airflow, and the temperature. They can also control the stereo. This phone jack's there also for the if you want to connect to the headphones so nobody else can hear it. And you got up here in the center, you got map lights and AC vents for the middle row passengers. This is just a storage pocket. And the center in the back here, we have also got map lights as well as another set of AC vents for the rear row passengers. Okay. Uh, there's also AC vents here in the middle and a cup holder that pops out down there and a cigarette lighter adapter right here. Okay, we are ready to move on to the back. 
All the tail lights and headlights are in perfect shape. They're not cracked or scuffed in any way. They're nice and clear. Rear parking sensors, there's two on each side. The heavy duty tone package with the electrical connection there ready to go. Um, actually, I think I forgot to show you one thing here, so let me go back up. Um, here is to open the power tailgate. And let's uh, come back here. <clears throat> you can do that with a remote control too, by the way. Or right on the tailgate, there's a little handle. You can press that, and uh, the tailgate would open also. Uh, as long as the car's unlocked, of course. This is to open your rear vents. These are the, uh, this rear glass here. They bent out just a little. They go like that, about maybe three or four inches. Okay, and uh, you got power adjustable pedals. Let me show you how those work. They slide about four to five inches inside and out. And they move independently from the power seat, so it really helps out when you got a real tall driver or short driver to um, to get them uh, to get them closer or further away from the uh, so they could be more comfortable. You can disable the front. And remember, you know, not only do you have the rear parking sensors, but you also have front parking sensors. Okay, and this is the way to disable them right here. Okay. All right, and the reason you do it, mostly the rear parking sensors, is when you're towing a boat or a trailer, because when you put the car in reverse, it'll be beeping the whole time because you're so close to the object that you're towing, okay? Um, this third row seat falls completely flat onto the ground. This is what we call a 60-40 seat. 60% on this side, 40% on this side, and they are power folding rear seats, as you can see here, and they fold independent from each other, very simple. And of course, it'll lay down completely flat. Okay, let's raise the back up here. I'm not going to do both sides and waste a bunch of time on that. Uh, the neat thing about that, the fact that they're independent from each other is if you need to, say, put a, a large box on this side here and you still need a seating capacity for here, you can put the box here and still have somebody sit over there, okay? To uh, close the power tailgate, we can do it right here. It has a little chime that beeps to let you know it's going to come, in, it's going to come down so it doesn't hit you in the head when you're not paying attention, and also the tail lights flash. As I was saying before, it's uh, flex fuel capable, meaning you can put that E85 flex fuel, which costs, which costs about 30 cents less per gallon. Um, rear wiper, rear window defroster, right rear tail light, perfect shape, no damage. It's got the color coded of flares to match the car, the mud guards, again the beautiful 20 inch chrome wheels from factory, four wheel disc brakes, tire pressure monitoring sensors, right rear door panel, same way, two tone with the light gray and the dark gray with the wood trimming. Of course, we got child, um, the child locks on both sides. Let's pan over the seating area on this side here so you can see this in perfect shape. I don't know if I've shown you before, it's another one more look at the rear seating area here. Another look at the headliner so you can see that it's not sagging anywhere, there's no burn holes, it's not cut, it's not stained or marked with crayons or ink. I'm sure by now you notice that none of the speaker covers are cracked, they're all, they're all in really good shape, they're not cracked at all. And this is the other switch I was telling you about. So let's say you're with a lady friend or with your you know, elderly person and you want to help them out. You still don't take the key to your pocket. You just come over here and press it once and this door will open. I mean, it will be unlocked and uh, you can help out the person to get in and then you can um, hit it once again so the other three doors come open so you don't have to um, do it back when you get over there. Uh, right front door panel, same way. As I was saying before, not only is the driver's seat power but also uh, you got power seat and power recline on the passenger side as well. This is the top of the line, um, the Platinum uh, Edition. Got as much equipment or more than some uh, Infiniti QX56s, which is a comparable unit. It's essentially the same drivetrain, uh, just for a little less. Okay, let's talk about financing for just a moment. If we require financing, let me tell you that we have um, excellent rates for good credit, and we also have special financing for those that, have, that don't have such a good credit. If you're concerned about the financing or you live a long distance away and you want us to go ahead and get you pre-approved, just go to the website, vehiclemax.net, right on the homepage, you see a silver tab that says apply for credit, click it, fill it out completely, click submit at the bottom of the page, and then give us a call so we can retrieve your application and get you pre-approved. That's going to do it for the video in this unit. I want to thank you for watching our video at vehiclemax.net.